Okay, so you said to yourself you're going to save a little time doing some batch processing with your podcast. But you're not going to publish all of those podcasts in one day. You want to spread them out. Now, batch processing will give you the opportunity to give you more time to do other things. However, you don't want to batch process and then have to come back every week just to upload your podcast. So today I'm going to show you how to schedule your podcast episodes so they upload for you weekly without you doing anything. All right. So today we're going to do that. We're going to talk about that. Stick around and we'll get into it after this. You're watching a start to finish podcasting quick tip brought to you by the start to finish podcasting TV network with Andre Lewis. So welcome to the start to finish podcasting podcast TV network. I want to welcome my start to finishers. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, today I'm going to show you how to schedule your podcast episodes for uploading using Libsyn. So if you do not use Libsyn to schedule your podcast or upload your podcast, um, this video probably won't be for you, but I would suggest that you take a look at it because a lot of the platforms that you may use uh, may use similar um, steps to uploading a podcast or scheduling a podcast. So today I'm going to use Libsyn and I'm going to show you how to schedule your podcast. Now, like I said before, um, batch processing is what a lot of podcasters do. And, and that's great. If you do, let's see, let's see eight podcasts. Um, and you want those to upload every week. Um, that's great, but then you're going to have to come back and schedule it, not schedule. You're going to have to come back and upload it. If you schedule the podcasts for those eight weeks, then you won't have to worry about any of that stuff. I mean, it's just, it'll do it automatically. It even gives you a, a choice of, uh, I believe it's the date and the time. So they'll publish on whatever day you want. They'll publish whatever time you want. And today I'm going to get into that and show you how to do that. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, you're going to go to Lipson.com. Here, you're going to get to this page and you're going to log in. Okay, once you log in, you'll see your dashboard. This is where all the magic happens. This is where you're going to schedule your podcast episodes. So let's just say for the sake of argument, we have eight podcast episodes that you've batched and you want one to release every week. So... What you're going to do is you're going to schedule one at a time. And at one point in the scheduling, the only thing it's pretty much the same process, but you're changing the date for the last step, I believe, or the second to last step, you're just changing the date. So let's get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you already have one episode that you published last week. Uh, no, let's just say you published an episode yesterday. You're good with that. Now you just have to concentrate on, um, the second of eight episodes. So you're going to go to content and you're going to add a new episode. And by the way, I'm going to do a video. Uh, my next video is going to be um, how to upload a podcast episode through Libsyn. But for now, I'm just going to speed through some of this stuff and get to um, the point where you are scheduling um, your podcast episodes. So right here, you're going to add, for the, of course, you're going to have to add your media file. And you'll click upload from hard drive. If it's on your hard drive, I'm going to choose this one just for a sample. I'm not going to go all the way through with this because I already have an episode uploaded with this podcast episode. So right now it's loading. And if you do everything right, it's going to say something in reference to upload successful. I should say it about right here. So let's just see. Okay. It's processing now. And we'll wait and we'll wait and we will wait. Ah, there we go. All right. So upload successful. So we're going to go to details. Of course, you'll enter your details. Um, and when I make that other epi uh, that next episode on how to upload your episode um, using Libsyn, we'll go through all of this. But for now, we're just going to skip through it. You got your artwork and you got your social media. And let's just say you did all of that and you get to scheduling. Okay, so right now, 
you are going to click basic release expiration. So right now, let's just say, like we said, you just published a, uh, an episode yesterday. So you're good for this week, but let's, this is for next week. So what you're going to do is you have two options here. Release immediately on publish. That means if you publish this particular episode, just like the one you published yesterday, it's going to publish right away. Okay. You don't want that. We want to publish these episodes um, weekly without having to come back and do it ourselves. So you're going to click set new release date here. It's going to ask you the date. So you're going to click this box here and let's just say you want to, you did one yesterday and you want to publish one, um, the following week. Let's see, today is the 12th and let's just say you want to publish another one next Sunday. So you'll go click on the 19th. So now we have it publishing on May 19th. Now let's just say you don't want it to publish at 12 o'clock PM. Let's just say, you know what? I wanted to publish through the middle of the night. So when everybody wakes up, it's going to be there. So you can change that time. It gives you all these times to change. You can change it to whatever time you'd like to publish it. Um, let's just say 1 a.m. So now we have that particular episode that we just uploaded set to release on May 19th at 1 a.m. We're not going to expire this. We're just going to keep that the same. And here it says media files are always available. Okay. And I like to keep that there. Um, there's another option that says media files are available based on release date. So that means if you click this and this is what I'm guessing here, I don't know for sure, but this is sound like a common sense thing. These media files will not be available until this particular re release date here on May 19th. So I'm going to keep this here. Um, usually I might, well, maybe I might put it there, you know, cause you don't want, um, you just want this content to be available upon the release date. So uh, you may want to keep that there. It's up to you. Um, but I'll move it back here. Once you are finished with that, you are going to click publish. Not that bad. I'm not going to click it because this episode was already released. I'm just using this as an example, but that's it. I mean, it's, it's just as simple as that. Now let's just say we just we just published this episode. For, so it's going to release on the 19th of May at 1 a.m. Now that was our second episode. We still got, we published eight. So we got six more. So you would repeat this process six times all the way up to this point where you would change the date. Okay. So let's just say we uploaded a new episode. We went to details. We fit all that in. We went to the artwork, we filled that in. We went to the social media, we filled that in and we'll come to scheduling again. And again, we're not gonna release it immediately because it will release the day you publish it. And we're gonna set it as a new release date. And remember our last one was scheduled on 519. So you don't want this one to schedule on 519 because we already have one scheduled on 519 and if you do it this way and keep it at 519, two episodes are going to um, skip, uh, be published at the same time. And you don't want that. So we're going to take this date and we'll go a week later on the 26th. So right now we have one scheduled on and we have one that we scheduled. Let's just say yesterday, today. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, we have one scheduled for next week and we're going to we now have one scheduled for the 26th and we wanted to release at the same time. We'll keep this stuff the same and you hit publish. That's your third episode that you have published. And I'm going to do this one more time. Let's just say we're going to do the fourth one. Add media file details. We add all of this stuff. We go to social media. Uh, we take care of this and then we go back to scheduling. And this is our fourth episode. And we don't want it on the 26th because it'll be two episodes being released. So what we are going to do is schedule it on June, let's see the next one, it'll be June 2nd. Yep, June 2nd, all right? So same process, same time if you want, you can change the time if you'd like. Um, once you do all of that and it, it meets your criteria when you want it published and the time, you'll click uh, publish. All right, so now that would be it. That would be it. So now you have a, a, an episode being released on the 19th, the 26th, and June 2nd, and you have about four more to go. So you can schedule it 
This one for June 19th, one for June 16th, one for June 23rd, and one for June 30th. And this allows you to not have to worry about it. It's just like a set it and go type of thing. So it's okay to batch. If you batch eight episodes, that's great. Um, but if you batch eight episodes, you don't want to just come back again and just to publish it. So once you batch those eight episodes, you set them up where you, they can release weekly and you won't have to worry about anything. It's more like a set it and forget it type of thing. Um, so it's just a lot easier. You know, it's, it's just a lot easier to, you know, schedule these in advance. And that way, you know, it gives you a little bit more free time with your family or more free time for work or more free time to just relax and not, you know, we have to worry about the podcasting and, and, you know, going to your computer or forgetting to release an episode. This helps. So it's, it's scheduled. You set it and forget it. And everything is, is just fine. So I hope um, you use this. I would suggest you use it. It's great. At least try it once. Um, it, it works great for me. I've, I've used it quite a bit. And when I went on vacation, I uh, didn't have my computer. I didn't really take anything because I wanted to relax. But this works. I mean, it works good. And, you know, I would try it if I were you. I mean, I would really try it. So um, check it out and let me know what you think. Try it. Let me know, you know, how you if you're comfortable with it. Let me know if this is something that you can do or you just rather do it weekly. Um, and that's going to be it for this episode. Um, not this episode. Well, that's this is going to be it for this video. <laughs> I'm so crazy. That's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, you can reach me at start to finish podcasting.com or you can email me at start to finish podcasting at gmail.com. If you are new to this episode, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss out on any more of these videos. I release these videos and I'm hoping that they're very helpful. So don't, don't, don't miss out on these videos. Just subscribe and you'll get notifications when I post another video. So again, thank you for tuning in and I appreciate you and just keep podcasting. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network.